Winnie the Pooh lived in this enchanted forest under the name of Sanders, which means he had the name over the door in gold letters, <laughs> and he lived under it. Now, when Pooh heard his poo coo clock, he knew it was time for something. But he was a bear of very little brain. So when he thought, he thought in the most thoughtful way he could think. I haven't thought of anything, have you? No, neither have I. Think, think, think. Oh, yes. Time for my stoutness exercise. Up, down, up. When I up, down, touch the ground, it puts me in the mood. Up, down, touch the ground, in the mood for food. I am stout round, and I have found, speaking poundage-wise, I improve my appetite when I exercise. I'm rumbly in my tumbly. Time for something sweet. I am short, fat, and proud of that, and so with all my might. I up, down, up, down to my appetite's delight. While I up, down, touch the ground, I think of things to chew. Mm, like honey and milk and chocolate. With a hefty, happy appetite, I'm a hefty, happy poo. <laughs> With a hefty, happy appetite, he's a hefty, happy poo. Now, let's see. Oh, bother. Empty again. Only the sticky parts left. <laughs> and the only reason for making a buzzing noise that I know of is because you're a, a bee. And the only reason for being a bee is to make honey. And the only reason for making honey is so I can eat it. <laughs>